Good morning. It's my day off today. So today it's gonna be all about food. I'm gonna show you guys everything I eat from the time I get up till the time I go to bed. I'm gonna calculate all the calories and, and see what it equals out to and see what my macros are and my protein, fat, carb percentage and all that good stuff. And then I'm probably gonna adjust it to where I really need to be because I haven't really been eating that great lately and I want to get back to eating a really good diet. I've been having a lot of requests for meal plan type stuff and showing what foods I eat. I show a little bit but not everything I eat throughout the day. First thing, like I said before, shitload of water. Second thing, oikos. It's got 15 grams of protein, zero grams of fat, only six grams of sugar in it. So I like to eat one of these first thing. I'm gonna use the MyFitnessPal app to record all my food and all my calories and macros and all that good stuff. You can find it in most app stores, I think, under MyFitnessPal. It's very popular, everybody uses it. It's pretty easy to use. I already have mine set up, but I just go to my first meal and then you can actually just scan the food so hit the little scanner bar, there it goes, finds it right for you, check, there it is, it's got to add up all the calories and macros and show you at the end of the day. I have no affiliation with MyFitnessPal or anything like that, it's just the app that I found works the best and pretty much all fitness people use it. There's other ones out there you could try but I really like it and it's very user friendly. Breakfast time. One cup of kale. Or you can use spinach too, I know a lot of people don't like kale. Six eggs, I'm gonna do four whites, two whole eggs. One cup of milk. One cup of oatmeal. Don't forget to record it in the app. Right after breakfast, I take my vitamins. I do two fish oils. Keep the blood moving in those arteries. I take a vitamin D. If you're not out in the sun for any significant amount of time every day, I take that. Vitamin C, because we're at a lot of germs every day. Multivitamins, because everybody should take a multivitamin. Next up, about an hour before the gym, I'll drink a smoothie. I'm gonna make it with coffee today because we have coffee. You can start with any kind of base though. Water, coconut water, milk, orange juice, whatever you like. I like to use coffee as my pre-workout though, so I'll use it for now. Large banana. Protein powder. I'm currently using this Dimatize ISO 100. I don't have any preference with protein powders. As long as it's something decent and quality. So it's not the one I always use, but it's the one I'm using right now. Pre workout, I add one scoop of BCAA and one scoop of glutamine. Since it's leg day today, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of oats to half a cup of oats. I'm just gonna do half a serving, so one teaspoon right now. I get pretty hungry halfway through my workout, so the peanut butter definitely helps with that. I usually drink this an hour ahead of time, and by the time I'm doing any heavy lifts, it's an hour and a half, two hours have gone by. So. So now I'm gonna put it in my fitness pal. All right. 
It's gym time, leg day. I'm gonna ride the bike there. I like to ride my bike to the gym as a nice little warm up. It's not too far, so gives my legs a nice warm up. Then I get there and stretch. I'm gonna record a little bit for you guys as much as I can of the workout and show you what I do for legs. Get these skinny motherfuckers going. Let's do it. Alright, I hope you can hear me. I know GoPro audio sucks. One thing I'd like to see from the new GoPro cameras is a flip down screen. Sort of like, you know, the big DSLRs have. At least you could flip it down so you could hold it up and see. Or if you could move it around, that'd be awesome GoPro. Pretty good day at the gym. Uh, had a good leg workout, but one last thing to do is bike up this hill. So that's what I'm going to do right now for my last little workout cardio for the legs, then head home and edit. All right, let's do this. Just home from the gym. Gotta get my protein shake. Do another scoop of protein. Another serving of BCA. Another serving of glutamine. I don't take too many supplements. I'm really bad at taking supplements like creatine and things like that that you have to take every day and on a consistent basis. Just with traveling and working so much, I always forget. So I pretty much stick to the supplements that you know you can take pretty much any time that have the most benefits really. So, that's why I stick to these two. <laughs> there we go. That's why I stick to these two guys. We got some Gatorade, so I use that. 
I hear different things about when to take your protein, whether you should take it immediately after your workout, like you hit your last rep and then drink your protein shake. Or there's the other thinking that, you know, as long as you get your protein throughout the day, that you don't necessarily need to drink it right after your workout. So there's two different schools of thought. I basically like to take it right after my workout. Really, it just depends on how you feel. If you feel like it's gonna help you improve to take it right after your workout, then do that. If you feel like you can drink your protein throughout the day and not really worry about it right after your workout, well then do that. All right, it's 7.30. I'm a little late for my meals. I usually like to eat at 10 and then one, four, around seven and then 10 for my last meal. I'm a little late right now. I should wait about a half hour after that protein shake, but I'm fucking starving, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a meal now. So I can't forget my fitness pal for my protein shakes. All right, so far today I've eaten 1,564 calories. I still need to eat 1,276. So I gotta eat two fairly decent sized meals, and then I have my yogurt protein snack right before bed. Let's see where we're at. Nutrition-wise, nutrition, I'm at 37% protein, so I really want to be at 50% protein, 25% carbs, 25% fat. Right now, I'm at 37% protein, 20, 23% fat, and 39% carbs. So I'm pretty carb-heavy heavy today. But it is leg day and I needed a lot of energy, so that's okay. But I just wanna, I'm gonna eat a carb heavy meal right now. The last meal of the day is gonna be a low carb meal for sure. All right, the highest carb meal I have is this turkey meatloaf. It has 52 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, 45 grams of protein, 531 calories. Anything custom made like this, you're gonna have to put it in my fitness pal yourself. There's never enough vegetables in these meals, that's my only complaint. After this meal, I have 704 calories remaining. My carbs are still kind of high. The next low carb meal, high protein, and then mainly protein before I go to bed will definitely help that, help my macros and nutrients out. All right, guys, well. I don't have anything exciting going on the rest of the night. Just gonna work and edit a little bit, hang out with the dogs. So I'll see you guys at the next meal. So I've got the spaghetti squash turkey meatballs. It's only got 14 grams of carbs, 43 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. I would actually prefer to cook all my own food. I really like to cook and meal prep and that way you know exactly what's in your food. But I just really haven't had the time since I moved to Vegas so the meal delivery service is really saving my ass. Hey, you guys, chill. I still get to eat healthy and don't have to take the time to shop for it, prep it. It's really been a saving grace. If you can afford it, I would definitely say do it. It comes out to around 10 bucks a meal, which is definitely cheaper than eating out, but way more expensive than cooking yourself. All right, so I'm gonna put this one in my fitness pal. I'll search spaghetti squash. I don't know if it's gonna be on here though. There we go, spaghetti squash is on there. You'd be surprised what you find on here. So I still got 352 calories remaining. So I'll eat that in my yogurt protein snack right before bed. Final meal of the day. I'll do yogurt. Right before bed I'll do casein protein. Casein protein is best right before bed because it clumps in your stomach, so it digests a lot slower than whey. Whey digests super fast, probably the fastest digesting protein. I'm not sure if that's, that's right, but... Casein digests slower, so it's better to take at night right before bed because you want it to digest slowly and not right away. So I just do a little bit of milk. If you can't drink real milk, you can do almond milk, coconut milk whatever kind of milk there is these days. The good thing for my diet is we ran out of granola, so we eliminated that today. Granola is like my one healthy cheat. It makes all this healthy food taste a lot better, that's for sure. What I might actually do is grind up one of these. But first of all, I'm gonna put all this in my 
my fitness pal and see where my calories are at for the day. Okay today, I'm at 40% protein. I'd like it to be at about 50% and 35% carbs, 25% fat. Those are my macros for the day. Let me see if I add these, if it's gonna kill me or not because I really want to put one of these in my yogurt. All right, with that, I'm over 152 calories. I did legs today. I got a scene tomorrow. Fuck it, I'm gonna eat it. All right, well, this is just what I eat throughout the day. I'm not recommending it to anyone or saying it's the healthiest thing or it's gonna build all that muscle, but it's just what I personally eat throughout the day. And most days are pretty much the same. A little bit different food, but still the same calories and everything. That's pretty much my day in the life of food. So, thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow.